Hello everyone, happy Tip Tuesday. I've been getting a few DMs about people who have started or already launched holiday campaigns, which if you haven't done, you totally should be on that by now. Um, and they've been seeing less than optimal results, meaning that they haven't gotten any purchases on their conversion campaign or they just can't seem to see a good return during this busy holiday season. So today, during Tip Tuesday, I'm gonna talk about five strategies to try if you're not getting any purchases. But before we jump into it, I'm Sayla Shepard and you're watching Tip Tuesday, where I talk about all the latest and greatest tips and trends for all things social media, including organic social media and paid social media. But today, we're gonna to talk about paid social media, Facebook ads, and again, specifically, five strategies to try if you're not getting any purchases on your campaigns. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Before you make any conclusions, the first thing I want you to do is look at all the metrics. So be sure to customize your columns if you're looking within your Facebook ads manager. Um, use performance and clicks or customize it even farther if you like to see other metrics. But definitely look at, is your CPM very high? Meaning, is your audience very expensive to reach? Is your CTR low, your click-through rate? Meaning that people just aren't clicking through on your ads? What other things are happening within your ads that could make it so that people aren't purchasing? Um, sometimes we see a super high click-through rate, but people aren't necessarily converting on the website. So usually that means either they're seeing something different on the ads than what they're seeing on, their web, on your website, or um, they really like the ad, but maybe the ad is just so good that they don't convert yet on the website. So make sure to look at all your metrics before drawing any conclusions. The next step I have for you is to fix your creative and offer, especially if your click-through rate is really low. It's important that you have great creative. So if you've been using mostly images, maybe try using a video or a carousel. Um, make sure there's a really good hook in your creative. Um, remember, people need to feel like they need this product and they need to buy it now or they're gonna miss out on a really awesome opportunity. Um, so make sure your offer is really good as well. You know, we're, we're in the holiday season, it's here. Offers are already happening. Big brands are already starting to put most of their products on sale. So make sure that you can match or beat that with a really good offer. Maybe that's free shipping. Maybe that's 20% off your entire order. Maybe that's buy one, get one, whatever it might be. Make sure you have a really good offer because people are shopping around and they want to feel like they're getting a good deal this time of year. Um, after that, check your landing page. I touched, I touched on this a bit earlier, but you know, your landing page is very important. It can't just be the homepage of your website. It needs to be um, specific products. If you're um, an e-commerce store with a lot of different products, make sure that it's going to the exact products where the carousel is feeding out. Um, if you are a one product type brand, maybe set up a lander or some sort of click funnel or something that really explains why this product is what you need to get. Um, so really make sure you're checking your landing page. Honestly, this should have been done a lot earlier than the holiday season. So if this is your issue, then you might want to reconsider your holiday um, tactics because your landing page is just so important for Facebook ads. Um, Facebook can detect what's on a landing page, if people are converting really well on your landing page, and if they're not, your ads aren't gonna perform as well in the auction. The next strategy that I would say you need to try, number four, is to optimize for add to cart. Um, and this is something that a lot of Facebook ad marketers debate about because not everybody who adds something to the cart is going to purchase. But during this time of the year, it's gonna be less expensive for you to optimize for add to carts. And that'll at least get your pixel going a little bit more so that then down the road, you can optimize for purchase. And then finally, set up an email campaign and get emails and then market to them on email. This is kind of a last resort. If everything you've tried is not working and you're just not seeing the return you wanna see and you're spending what you feel like is a lot of money for your brand to compete with Facebook ads, then it's time to just set up an email campaign, um, have a landing page for people to enter their email and then sell to them more over email. Um, this will be also less expensive in the auction um, and your ad campaign overall will be less expensive. So this is kind of a last resort option. Um, and what's great about this is you'll be building up your email list, which of course is valuable for Facebook ads in terms of retargeting and lookalike audiences, that sort of thing. But that is a last resort. 
So that's it. That's what you have for today for five strategies to try if you're not getting any purchases with your Facebook ads. Um, remember to look at all the metrics to fix your creative and offer, um, to check your landing page, to optimize for add to cart. And then finally, if everything else fails, set up an email campaign and get emails and then market to people through email. So I hope you enjoyed this today. If you have any questions or if you're still struggling to see the results you wanna see with your Facebook ads, please send me a message, comment below. And as always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks.